Hello, class six. Today's lesson is chapter eight. Chapter eight is on page fifty-seven, five seven. Uh, the simple tenses. So, if you have your textbooks, you can follow. Open up your books to page fifty-seven. The simple tenses. The simple tenses consist of three different tenses: the present, past. and future so we have the simple present tense simple past tense and simple future tense okay you have learned this already last year so it should be familiar to you we will study it again this year and we will begin with the simple present tense here are a few sentences in the simple present tense if you look carefully if you notice you will find that the subjects are all singular so when the subject is singular remember to put an s to add an s to the verb and in the simple present tense the verb should always be in the first in the basic form remember i told you to learn a few pages of the different kinds of basic forms of verbs that is going to be very important in these tenses as we go along okay so let's look at the sentences the man means one man the singular the duck means one duck singular a bird one bird singular my phone one phone singular timothy one person she one person so when the subject is singular then the verb in the first form in the basic form has an s at the end okay so let's read the man shouts the duck quacks a bird flies my phone rings timothy sleeps she plays Okay, so this is the singular sentence in the simple present tense. Now let's look at plural sentences. The men, plural. The ducks, plural. Birds, plural. Our phones, plural. The boys, plural. They, plural. So when the the subjects are plural, you should not. add an s to the verb okay there is no s in the verb just the ordinary basic form the men shout the ducks quack birds fly our phones ring the boys sleep they play right look at the singular and then at the plural the man shouts the men shout the duck quacks the ducks quack a bird flies birds fly and so on this is in the simple present tense now we have different forms of the simple present tense okay the different forms of the simple present tense are the affirmative the negative and the interrogative so let's look at them now you can write the affirmative and then you can change it to the negative and the interrogative so these are uh, the three different forms the first one is the affirmative tom works hard one person singular so you have to write works tom work anilo tom works because singular works hard right next sentence they play daily now there is no s here in the verb why because the subject is plural there is an s here in the verb because tom is singular tom works hard plural they play daily so these sentences are in the affirmative 
Oh, and he is nani. Negative. Tom does not work hard. Now, what have I used? I've used the word does. Okay, and I'm also going to use the word do. So, does and do are the two auxiliary verbs that are used in the simple present tense when you are making negative and interrogative forms. Okay, so let's look at the negative form. Affirmative, Tom works hard. Negative, Tom does not work hard. What happened to the S? You have to remove the S. Hit the works, that's one. Okay. Tom does not work hard. Tom works hard. Tom does not work hard. Okay. Next one. They do not play daily. Does Does is used when the subject is singular. Do is used when the subject is plural. Right? Tom does not work hard. They do not play daily. So these are the negative forms. Affirmative forms, negative forms. Now let's look at the interrogative forms. Remember to always add a question mark at the end of an interrogative form because it is a question. Does does lang? Does Tom work hard? Question mark. Do they play daily? Question mark. Do kahmanga? Do lang? Okay. So let's look at the affirmative. Tom works hard. Negative. Tom does not work hard. Interrogative. Does Tom work hard? Question mark. Plural form. They play daily. They do not play daily. Do they play daily? With a question mark. Okay, so that is how you write down the three forms of the simple present tense. Affirmative, negative and interrogative. And remember, in the simple present tense, you have to use auxiliary verbs do or does. Only do or does. Okay? Because it is in the simple present tense. Let us try and change some of these sentences into the negative and the interrogative. Singular. Singular lam. Plural lam. Okay? The singular. The man. One man. The man shouts. This is in the affirmative. Negative arts one, the man, what are we going to use? Does, because there is one man, singular, in the singular you are going to use does. The man does not shout, shout. The man does not shout. The duck does not quack. A bird does not fly. Okay. My phone does not ring. That is in the singular. Now let's look at the plural. The men shout. The men, and it's one negative form. The men do not shout. The ducks do not quack. Birds do not Fly. Our phones do not ring. The boys do not sleep. Singular, you use does. Plural, you use do. Okay. Now, in the book, on page 57 and 58, it shows us how to use the simple present tense. The simple present tense in English is used to describe an action that occurs on a regular basis, basis and for facts that are universal truths, accepted universally. Number one, 
for repeated or regular actions. Okay, so, so when do you use the simple present tense? For repeated actions, regular actions, kati chin, kati chin, fo bai ni tin kati, zing tin kati, zan tin kati, mo tiang kan chin. I go to school by bus. Bus in school kakal chin. That is in the simple present. The train leaves by 10 a.m. Rail ka dar so ma atswan atswak chin. Dar so ma atswak chin. Okay, so chin, that is the simple present tense. Another use for the simple present tense is for facts. The president lives in the Rashtrapati Bhavan. A spider has eight legs. So these are all in the simple present tense. Number three, for habits. Habit. Martha brushes her teeth three times a day. I get up at 8 a.m. on Sundays. Okay, these are all in the simple present. Number four. For things that are generally true. The sun rises in the east. Trees shed their leaves in winter. So learn the uses of the simple present tense. Now let's look at the simple past tense. The simple past tense is formed by using the second form of the verb. Remember, I told you to learn the basic forms of the verbs <clears throat> that were written down in your class 5 textbooks. Those different forms are very, very important when you are constructing your tenses. Okay, so the simple past tense. The sun shone brightly. Simple present, Tsuni said, the sun shines brightly kantiang mo the sun pakhatania shines brightly kantiang simple present do not as one past tense kan to in the past tense affirmative the sun shone brightly they went away he tried hard they are all in the second form of the verb okay you have to now use the second form of the verb Negative. The sun. Now, what is this word here? Remember, in the simple present tense, we used do and does. In the simple present tense, for the negative and the interrogative, we used do or does, according to the subject. In the simple past tense, we use did. The sun did not shine. Sean will be changed back into its original first basic form. Okay, the sun did not shine, did not shone. Nilavin, the sun did not shine brightly. They did not go away. They did not went. Nilavin, they did not go. Okay, go away. He did not try. Tried. Kanmang to olavang. He did not try hard. And in the interrogative form. Uh, did did zel kan mangdon did the sun shine brightly did they go away did he try hard okay 